We're talking about four things today. Who we are, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're getting after it. Who we are. This is the most important single thing I want you to think about. I want you to understand this. I want you to hear this from me, Double Eagle Six. America's Army Reserve, 200,000 soldiers spread across 20 time zones, seven eighths around the world. The largest Federal Reserve force in the world. And a, and, and a team that is poised, positioned, and ready uh, to support the warfighter in any number of theaters of operation, on very short notice. We are the most awesome, we are the most dedicated, and we, we are in the process of becoming the most capable, combat ready, and lethal Federal Reserve Force in the history of the United States of America. You're a part of this team, you're a part of history. Why? Why are we doing what we're doing? We're doing what we're doing because of a threat that's appearing on, if you will, the radar screen of America, the radar screen of the world, a threat, an environment uh, that is unlike anything any of you have seen in your military career. I'm just telling you, we live in a world where adversaries, potential adversaries and threats in the United States of America are different than we've seen in the past, at least in the past 25, 30 years, in terms of ability to challenge us across every domain. I'm not just talking about Daesh or other asymmetric, terrorist operations, organizations. I'm talking about near-peer competitors that had the ability to disrupt and to confound us in every domain. Think cyber, think the seas, think space, think, if you will, the digital architecture, that's GPS, that's precision, precision navigation and timing. That is the ability to create significant friction for us in a future operational environment. What are we doing? How are we getting after it? We're getting after it by building the most capable, combat-ready, and lethal Federal Reserve Force in the history of the United States of America. Force that's able to put large numbers of formations out the door into harm's way quickly enough to be relevant for the fight, prepared and ready to take it on. How do we get after this? Fundamentally, it's about leadership. That's you. It's about energy. That's all of us, it's about execution. We're getting after this by unleashing the power of this team. And we're getting after this by making sure each and every one of the members of this tribe understands that at the end of the day, we got two things that most people in this nation don't have, most people in this world don't have. Number one, we got a mission to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And we got something else that's really awesome. We got us, we got this tribe, we got this team, we got each other. We serve the people of the United States, we live our values, and we take care of each other. This is America's Army Reserve, spread across the nation and around the world. Dedicated citizen soldiers who stepped up to the plate to defend freedom, to defend liberty, defend the American way of life. I see the future of this Army Reserve, and the future is awesome. It's dedicated soldiers, many of whom have got awesome civilian jobs that are also willing to take time away from those jobs, take time away from their families to go out, to come out here to train and to be prepared to support freedom and liberty and peace in our time. So I appreciate your support, I appreciate your service, I appreciate everything you're doing. Let your families know how much they mean to all of us. For those of you who got civilian jobs, how many got civilian jobs? Make sure your employers know that they're a key part of making sure that we remain on this road to awesome and building the most capable combat ready and lethal Federal Reserve Force in the history of the United States of America. Cool.